The American family and church are under relentless assault, yet most of us are unaware of the dangers. Here are several examples. We've been invaded by critical race theory, or CRT, that promotes racism in our schools and society, blaming most problems on Caucasians, especially Christians. The grooming of our children through principles under the sweet-sounding title of Social Emotional Learning, or SEL. These programs promote the sexualization of our youth, the separation of children from parents, and the breakdown of the family. Corruption is rampant in our government, featuring several high-level executive branch positions led by transgenders, contributing to compromised national security and global embarrassment. Our military is being decimated. The FBI and the DOJ are filled with corruption. Lawlessness abounds in our society, resulting in unequal application of the law, singling out Christians and those holding traditional American values. Election integrity issues are widespread. False imprisonments and illegal search and seizures of political enemies abounds. Parents of school children are labeled and marked as domestic terrorists. Government is openly colluding with TV and social media networks, leading to radical censorship of ideas and misleading the public over critical health issues. Our rights to free speech and religion are being stolen before our eyes. Open borders violating the law are destroying our national sovereignty, a biblical concept, as well as ruining our economy and killing hundreds of thousands of people through drugs allowed through these open borders. Our history is being rewritten through curriculum like the 1619 Project, blatantly lying while teaching that America was founded by rich white men with the purpose of enslaving blacks. Politics is corrupting science to push the lie of climate change with an agenda to destroy our economy, leading to one world government. The politicizing of medicine and science giving us the COVID-19 pandemonium leading to church and business closures, vaccine and mask mandates, all with horrible side effects, and at the same time, punishing doctors for promoting preventative treatments like ivermectin and others that could have saved thousands of lives.